One restaurant owner is stunned tonight after someone stole $150 worth of food from her. But what she says is more shocking is how the alleged thief reacted on social media on Facebook after her face got plastered all over that platform. Cakes Nick Nelson spoke with the owner of the Doodah Diner about the communication between the restaurant and the alleged thief. Nick. Yeah, Chris, this all started about two weekends ago when two women were seen walking in the front doors here at the Doodah Diner and taking a few items of food and getting into a car and taking off without paying. None of us can wrap our head around that she continued to to put down the diner and tell us that we were in the wrong and that we, that we were in the fault. These images from security cameras at the Doodah Diner in downtown Wichita show two women grabbing take and bake food items from a fridge at the front of the restaurant and then getting in a car and taking off without paying. Doodah Diner posted the pictures on Facebook, hoping to get them identified. Customers quickly helped the staff identify one of the women, seen here wearing a Nike t-shirt. We aren't going to identify her because she hasn't been arrested. Owner Timory Shibley says that woman soon began sending messages to the restaurant's account claiming Duda was trashing her reputation. She even posted on Facebook saying it was $35.99 for the disgusting meatloaf. I don't know how much for the nasty, explicit macaroni. I didn't get to try it. Shibley says she wanted to forgive the woman for her actions. And I said, you know, if you just came and did an apology, you know, apologized that and took accountability for your actions, that would be payment in full. However, the woman continued to publicly slam the restaurant and threatened a lawsuit. Shibley says she plans on filing charges against the woman. She really did something illegal and you can't steal from people. But for all of those reasons, I mean, I, I feel as a business owner in this community, I feel I owe it to other business owners to go ahead and follow through. She also says she's grateful for the continued support from loyal customers. Despite this being a negative situation, there was a whole lot of love. Customers, just so many people that showed appreciation to us for being in the community and knowing that we give people second chances. And we tried to reach out to that woman who's accused of stealing that food and so far haven't heard back. Now, Wichita police are looking into the incident. Reporting live, Nick Nelson, Cake News on your side.